It is Friday. Yeah, we got some rowdy dogs here. <laughs> we got the side by side back there. We're on uh, kind of like an ATV to begin with trail, but it definitely turns into just single track real quick. Uh, fresh moose poops. Yeah. A lot of moose in this area. Razor, come on. Hey, quit biting him. <laughs> he is rowdy. So we got the uh, Milwaukee. We got some down trees up here. We're gonna deal with. And then uh, we'll get some four wheeling in later too. Dirt bikeable. As long as it's not too big of a pain to get over, I'll call that good and save my batteries for uh, worse obstacles for the. ATV or a little wider trail that way. Single track, old school trail this way. Kind of like, a, I want to say like snowmobile maybe. Um, judging from some of the cuts, somebody had a hatchet. They've been coming down a couple feet of snow. They couldn't make it across the logs. So, I might do something with this log trap here. Yeah, I think so. Set this up. Um, pretty easy transition over right there, really. Um, maybe getting these little ones out of the way. Mm-hmm. Okay, almost like to leave a little bit of a challenge. For enduro style riders only. All right, just have to shed a layer down there. So I'm leaving some of these obstacles, but. kind of leave that stuff so everything doesn't wash down the trail. Looks like we got some more up ahead. Okay, again you'd think uh, you see that big one there that I would just go tearing into that but I actually like that one as a technical obstacle and there's an easy approach over here. So I'm going to open up that approach a little bit. creating my own lines a little bit. Okay, let's do a tight transition into here. Move these out of the way. This one.
have a decent Pro Rider log hop with other challenging obstacles or a nice easy beginner style enduro line to come up and over even coming down to be able to come into this jump for other slippery logs traverse back down into here no problem fun stuff Let's see how much battery life I have left. Uh, open it up more if, if needed. Uh, I think that still gives me a pretty good line. So we scored another one, boys. I was with that 8 amp hour battery. Let me see, I'll give it a break. I think just move this one possibly. I don't have to cut that big section. Oh, yeah. No problem. I can break that stick. Got cell phone service. I hear the darn telephone going off. Mm -hmm. Look at that, boys. Handling since my battery life is low. Only brought one battery. Uh, looks like definitely gonna need to do some more cutting ahead. Yeah.
the sappy one. Mushroom. No, I don't need it. <laughs> All right. Just kind of big. I would just cut it, but to conserve battery life, I'm going to if you come in this little dirt bike and hop on it. It's going to want to kind of slide you down into this. We have to get rid of these. Get the shelf on. Okay, we just saw a sign back there. I should have got it. Uh, it was at a Y. Um, don't you looking at mushrooms everywhere. It said Twin Lakes one and a quarter mile um, bowstring loop trail. Like I say, it was at a Y. Um, yeah, the trail's been fairly clear. There's some big ugly ones. Oof. Just waiting to see a moose. Dogs were alerting at something a little bit ago. Somebody signed that one. They were numbering or something. Um, it's like river crossing here. Uh, and I would say that's the way the trail needs to go. It's this way. Looking for marks on the trees indicating the trail. Uh, it's pretty heavily traveled rut across there I'd say and then kind of looking bridge looking logs here those ones look mad made this is naturally fallen Let's see if we can navigate across the water here I've got these sweet new boots I got at Costco they're kind of like a muck boot uh, but they're not insulated and I tell you they do really really good on the wet rocks um, I think they might be kind of a fisherman type boot but obviously waterproof here on Blue, I'll see if I can carry you guys across. Ah, kinda wanna leave the chainsaw. But definitely dirt bike that, no problem. Might get a little wet feet. Because that's my point here, is carrying this for the dirt bike. Let's see what I can do. Okay, test these boots out on some wet logs. See what happens here. You stay. Well, I know he's gonna try and follow me. I might as well just grab him now. This should be alright. Come on, Razor. Come on. Don't go away from me. Come here. It's okay. Come on. Razor, come. Come here. Razor, come here. Come on. Razor, come. You gotta be patient with pups. Good boy, Blue. Come here, puppy. Good boy. You can't get mad at him. Alright. Very good. Doing good. Good traction. Hey, blue. <laughs> he was right on me. Good boy, Blue. Good boy, Razor. Okay. Yep, that looks like our trail. All right. Moving on, folks. I think we're just a few miles in. It's been really nice. Uh, definitely a couple hours into cutting, though. <clears throat> and the moose has been along here a day or so, maybe a couple days ago. I smell like fire. Let's do a campfire, so I'm just campfire on the mountain somewhere. Drifting up through. And I see Razor's nose keeps going up too. I smelled it. Yeah, more moose poop. Should be good. He has the uh, intuition to do the right thing. Stick by. Oh, we got some down trees here. Fresh live. Something to cut. That's what we're here to do. Hit the battery button. I got one bar still, folks. I'm gonna make one cut. One cut, boy. Okay. 
Log trap. Come on, boys. Let's just start our way through here. There. One bar. Boy, razor. Boy, blue. Let's see. Seeing one cut line. Moving on. You good, Razor? <sighs> good pups. Good boy, Blue. Ooh. Okay, technical slippery roots off camber. And you can see the height on this one. Uh, not great for riding under. It's gonna have to stay. It's gonna be a bit of a dragger. But you know this trail clearing is simply just the right thing to do. On razor. The moose is pooping. So we got a bit of a I think they found a go around after chopping maybe for a bit. Might have been quite a chopper. I think their go around is suitable for me on dead battery life. I can make it up that. So we'll keep going for another cut on something that I wouldn't be able to go around. That's the goal here. And a few feet away, moose poop. 
Stuff's pretty fresh. Stuff shiny. Oh, my knee's getting a little weak. Got a signature here on a log. 08, 2008. DK, the heart. That was fun. Signed quite a few back in the day. Hey, with Vanessa. Jeez, look at the roof. The old VW sign. <laughs> They're still out there. <laughs> Get up there, Razor. Let's just do an off trail exploring. What does that one say? Something. It. Exclamation. Huh. Spoon it. Spawn it. Spawn it. I don't know. Definitely a good dirt biker trail. Climb and climb and climb. Bokes, my knee's feeling it. Forgot bug spray. Yeah, that's why I got my head covered. And I'm sweating. Okay. So we got another we do a one cut from tiny. Those are weird hoops. Thought it was deer, but it's not. They're all over. Little round ones. They're like some kind of creature. Hey, I'm gonna stay close. Let's see if I can get a one cut and drag her down a little bit set up my v-rig tripod here that we got from old tau need to get some more videos done for him Sorry. giving up on me i get my son to come help work in my shop I'll have a lot more time for YouTube. Creating, which is what I want to do. Boy, I think I'm going to have to just go right here. Unfortunately. Still showing a single bar. That's good. It's bad enough for a 302 stroke. Of any flavor. Husqvarna, like Mick, my parts guy from Summit, brand new one, doing good, my new Beta, very nice, uh, 24 KTM XCW is what I want next. <laughs> the bike's like 95% new, throttle body injected, still with uh, oil injection though which is cool and then uh, the one of my favorite things about it is it doesn't have the um, linkage suspension in the rear <whistles> come on, boys let's go oh right here good boys yeah I like my 05 KTM SX direct mount on the rear shock to the swing arm it's really nice just like the way it rides, the feel, and then a short kind of wheelbase, and just a wheelie mode, and hop up anything like this steep single track. This little natural spring coming right out of the ground here. That'd be a good spot to stick in like your life straw um, and draw water 
for a drink right out of there. Okay, we're gonna uh, turn around, kick it back. Shows I've gone four miles up. I hate to think about it, but that means I need to go four miles down. Yeah. Not a big fan of walking, but I don't mind it uh, being in good shape. Definitely a little more winded up here, feeling the elevation. So we approach 9,000 feet, not quite yet, but all right, if you guys get a drink and cool down. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Again, trail clearing, it's the right thing to do.